Hi, my name is Chelsea Tucker, um, and this is Richard Wilson. And our, we're in. I'm in Year Equip and Year Explore. Our project is Unplug It. We're a deep focus project, and our PTY number is 024. Has anyone here ever experienced a rolling blackout? It makes you feel completely powerless. Excuse the pun. So me and Richard are here to bring back the power and bring back your power. Again, excuse the pun. Welcome to Unplug It. Do you know that last year the electricity costs went up 25% and this year they're going up 25% again? So the, the need to save our electricity consumption becomes ever more pertinent. Me and Richard have been working for two years to try to find the leaking tap of electricity, like you would for water. What we found is that most of your household appliances, when you turn them off, they don't actually turn off. They go into a mode that starts to leak electricity, where the transformer is still working. Basically, this leaks up to about 11% of your energy consumption, and basically about 30% of the appliance's energy consumption. Even cell phone chargers, plugged in, not plugged into a phone, still use electricity. So, we found a solution. I welcome the prototype. It's basically a five-point plug that when you walk into the room, it turns on as per usual. So all your appliances are ready to work. However, the minute you walk out of the room, the infrared sensor notices that there's no one in the room. We're just going to turn it around because it can see all your hot bodies. I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> And if you'll just watch for a little bit, it'll basically turn off in about 20 seconds. You might be asking, what about those appliances that you need to stay on? Your fridge, your Wi-Fi modem. Well, we've solved that problem as well. On our plugs, there'll be green and red sockets. Green sockets, you'll plug in those unnecessary appliances that you don't mind being turned off. And the red sockets will have plugs that you will, appliances that will still stay on. Up to you. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, as you can see, we've got a big box here. It doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, um, but there's a lot of space in this box, and there's a lot of the, the components can kind of fit in my hands. Um, so it can be made a lot more compact, and the end idea is to just get a normal five-point plug and put the components on the end. Now, our next step forward is we want to run a pilot, first of all in a house, and then a hotel. And basically why we want to do it in a hotel is because that is where people are the most least aware of the amount of electricity they're using. They don't really care about turning off the lights, the lights because it's not their electricity bill, it's the hotels. I'll just stop you for a second. Do you see it doesn't send any warm bodies and it's turned immediately off? That is unplugging all your appliances. And it saw me, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. And um, basically what we're showing here is we've run this in a couple of um, situations. We've run this in a, uh, a normal, um, in a middle income household. We've run it in a small household in Timbisa. And we've run it in an office. Basically the overall energy use savage was basically 5%, 8%, and 11% of the overall energy, energy cost for the houses and offices. And we think in a hotel it would be a lot higher. Now, basically how we're going to set our product apart. There's always the problem where China comes and mass produces something that you produce and it's always going to flood you out of the market. If you can't beat them, we might as well join them. We could get someone in China to produce this product or we add value-added services. Or we add value-added services, installation, warranties, guarantee service, and we give our product a range of service that China actually can't offer. So basically also we'd like to partner with uh, ESCOM or SPI that would also help us with our distribution and getting the product out fast. Now, this prototype costs 400 Rand, but that's buying it from normal electronic stores. So if you buy it wholesale or get mass, uh, b b mass bundle buying, I think we could get the product down to about 100 Rand cost. And how much would we charge for it? Well, if a hotel is going to save 11% on the electricity per month, the electricity bill must be quite large, we can just charge them for one month saving. That's a lot of money for us. And then in one month, they'll make their return again. Finally, what we want to do is after going through the houses to the hotels, where we're basically going to make the most money, we want to implement a social development plan where we start getting this implemented into township houses like Timbisa um, and hook it up to the prepaid system so that we can basically save them a lot of electricity um, and basically they'll save their own electricity costs. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>